Let's install EvoLand in Linux. What is up, YouTube? It's Ubu, the tech guru, coming straight at you. How is everybody doing? I'm doing fan tiddlyastic, and it has been a long time since I created an edited video for you guys, and I thought this was a perfect a time to get one up for you guys, and it is on how to install EvoLand. EvoLand has just recently come to Linux uh, about a month ago. It's been uh, the game has been out since April of 2013. It uh, kind of resembles Zelda a little bit. Um, I'll play a little bit of video of it from the Steam uh, Steam page. You know, what's really neat about the game is that the graphics actually improve as you progress through the game. Oh, and how did I forget this? I have a special guest here helping me create this video. Systrom is uh, part of the Linux Tech and Gaming community. Say hello, Systrom. Yo. All right, so we're going to go through and install EvoLand today in Linux. So the, obviously the first step is to uh, get the game installed. So choose whichever Steam folder you want to put it in. If you have multiple Steam location folder locations, you know choose the one that you want to install it in. I'm going to choose the the one that's on my SSD just because. Um, do I want to? Do I care if it creates a system application icon for EvoLand? Um, you don't really uh, care if 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 um, that gets created, and I'll explain. You know, I'll show you why. So just hit next and go to manage downloads and you can watch it you know download and like watching paint dry that's a lot of fun <laughs> what's the highest uh, you've ever seen yours uh, your games get downloaded at Systrom? do you recall uh, 10 meg is it really wow mine's peaking yeah, I at... have fiber yeah oh do you oh nice Mine's peaking at 2.7 right now, or it says current 1.7, 1.5. It's a really small game. It says it's uh, 80.6 megabytes, and it's done. So now you want to right-click on EvoLand and go to Properties, and then go to Local Files, and you want to browse Local Files, and um, Systrom's here because he's the one that's sh showed me how to get EvoLand working on my... Uh, I'm running Zubuntu 14.04.2 with uh, XFCE. So what's the next step? I have the EvoLand file manager uh, location open. Do I... Okay, I now wanna... remember, the, the game is... It uses Chrome as, as the engine system. Basically, Chrome has a a GLX uh, graphics engine that's embedded in it. And so this game actually uses Chrome or Chromium as its uh, launching. And so what it is is that you need to actually right click. Once you've opened up the actual location, the Evo Land folder, you need to right click on the index HTML file. Okay. And then you need to open with Google Chrome. All right, let's do that. And it opened on another window over here. I'll drag this on here. Um, all right, so it's launching the game, it looks like. Perfect. Once you've done that, yep. in, up in the right-hand corner, there are three black lines in Chrome and in Chromium. Okay. Okay. Then you go down to More Tools. Once you have done that, you will then select Create Application Shortcuts. All right. Uh, I was a little ahead of you there, but okay, we got that. And now it says create application shortcuts. Evo land, create application shortcuts in the following places, desktop and applications menu. Hit create. So that's done. It created it. Um, Once you now what? Close okay. this Evo land or minimize it? Right, right. Uh, okay. Minimize the application or, or, or exit the game itself. Oh, okay. I minimized it. Let me uh, reopen that. All right, close it with the X. Okay, that's closed. 
Now, on your desktop, you should have kind of a blank icon that should say Evo Land on it. Um, I do. Look okay. at that. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to right-click on that icon. You're going to edit launcher. All right. Um, okay, edit launcher, yep. Okay, now you have a selection under editing the launcher. You'll have something that says no icon. Yep. And click on that. Now, uh, Ubu and I have done a little bit of pre-prep, but what you can do is you can go to Google and you can search for any kind of icon that you want. Uh, wh whatever icon you want to use. But we already have one pre-selected that we're going to use. And we've already put it in a specific location. Ubu, can you open up the folder that we put the icon in? Sure. Yep. So that's uh, under my home directory. And then it's a hidden folder called dot icons. And Sistrum pointed out that it's good to have this folder because if you collect icons and you create launchers over time you and you re reinstall your operating system i used to put them in user share picks map where a lot of other icons are and he pointed out that when you do a fresh install or you do a wipe you know all my icons that i've downloaded over time are going to disappear so creating this dot icons folder is something that he pointed out and i think is a great tip so you can see here we have home ubu dot icons and we have the uh, the Evo icon 128.png, so that's important. It needs to be a PNG file. So and when, by doing that, this now means that when I'm in edit, when I'm adding the icon to the Evo Land launcher, I can change this up here at the top from select icon from. Instead of application icons, go down to all icons, and then simply go to the search icon and type in Evo. And boom, there it is. So then you would just hit OK. And now our launcher has a neat little, you know, Evo Land uh, sword as its uh, launcher. So I hit save. And now you can see that the icon is updated on my desktop. So, now, when you, okay. now yep. the next thing is, is you're going to double click on the icon. You're going to be presented with a, a prompt. Yep, it says untrusted application launcher. Okay. Uh, you have three selections. Yep. Launch anyway, okay. mark executable, or cancel. Mark executable. All right. Okay. And then. And it now it away. should automatically open up a Chrome window with no extra Chrome features. It oh, should wow. just be the game. It's tiny. The window. <laughs> this is hilarious. It's like a 128 by. It's a 128 by 128 window. So anyway, I can just click the full screen. Uh, you know, a little. By, uh, toggle and now it is full screen on my desktop windowed mode so in xfce you can actually right click on the top and say full screen if you really want to to get rid of that top window border so there you go now it's running full screen and that's it it looks like um i hit new game well you need to explain to them how to open uh, how to close it once you have put it into full screen mode, if you put it in full screen. That's true. So if you put it into full screen mode and you no longer have the top bar and you're missing the little X to close the game, um, escape, you can hit escape, which will take you back to the main menu, but there's no exit. So the way that you do it in XFCE is Alt F4 will close the game. And now we're back at the desktop. So that's it. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. Um, you know, I haven't done a video in a while, and um, I've been doing a lot of, I live stream three days a week. If you're interested in watching one of my live streams, I live stream a ton of different games, Minecraft, Borderlands, Outland, um, you name it. You know, any Linux game, I pretty much uh, live stream. I enjoy playing with the community. So if you'd like to join our community or, or join uh, me in gaming, um, you can join the Linux Steam group, which is Linux Tech and Gaming um, on Steam. You just go to Steam groups and, you know, search for Linux Tech and Gaming and join the group. And there's currently 84 members. Um, you know, it's a great group of people, like-minded, you know, gamers that enjoy gaming together. You don't have to be a Linux gamer to join it. You know, we have plenty of Windows users um, because there's a lot of multi-platform games that work in Linux and Windows, like Borderlands, Trine, and several others 
So, you know, come on over, join the community, um, jump on and, and, uh, I have um, a Minecraft server you can play on. I have Don't Starve Together server you can play on. Um, we just we have a lot of fun together, you know. And um, you're more than welcome to to join the community. Systrom, how do you, well, how do you enjoy the or how do you like the community? Do you enjoy it? Well, I mean, we don't bite. We 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 try to help. Uh, we try to be a good uh, give it like right now. We, we try to give instruction and help others in the community learning different things because I, I understand that. Trying something new is kind of scary. Uh, so if you have any yep. questions, you can also hit me up also on Twitter. Yep, definitely. I mean, uh, my Twitter, his Twitter is at Systrum, S-Y-S-D-R-U-M. Mine is at Ubuntu Addicted. I'm, you know, usually I have my mo my trusty um, mobile device, and I'm usually accessible pretty much whenever I'm awake. <laughs> if I don't get back to you right away, you know, don't fret. I will usually, I don't have too many mentions, so I usually will see your mention and get back to you at my earliest convenience. And that's about all I got for today. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to my YouTube channel. And uh, there's plenty of content coming, whether it be live streaming or, you know, archived videos like this or edited videos like this. So until next time, I'll smell you when I smell you. Ubu out.